Much of the first two seasons of Stranger Things were about Eleven's relationships with the other characters, alongside the development of her abilities, integrating herself into society, and exploring hints of her past. Season 3 introduced fans to another view altogether. The biggest question is, what will happen in Season 4? If there will be one. Welcome to Riveted. And in this video, we'll have a look at things that need to be answered if there will be a fourth season. Before we begin, let's first know if there will actually be a fourth season. Yes, it's definitely happening. Speaking to Collider, producer Sean Levy said that season four is definitely happening. Adding that, there's very much the possibility of a season beyond that one that's currently undecided. Cast members have also teased the fourth season on their social media pages. As far as we know, filming starts either in October, at the end of 2019, or at the beginning of 2020. In a deleted Instagram story, Noah Schnapp said that filming would start in January. We guess he was directed to take down the post because, as usual, cast members are never allowed to announce filming dates before the production. Season 3 began shooting in April of 2018 and wrapped in November of 2018. If the season starts filming in October and follows the same production schedule, Season 4 will likely be released at the end of 2020 or beginning of 2021. Eagle-eyed fans already spotted what looks like Joyce's green Ford Pinto and Hopper's Blazer arriving in Rome, Ohio, along with several other cars from the show, but that's all unconfirmed as per now. Okay, we know that Season 4 will definitely happen and these are some of the things we hope get addressed. The time setting of Season 4. So far, each season has taken place a year apart, with Season 1 in 1983, 2 in 84, and 3 in 85. The most likely assumption is that Season 4 will take place in 1986, but that will also be a problem. The kids are all grown up now, and they can no longer act 12 to 14 years old. There's the possibility that the fourth season will be set at a later year, which will cause another problem. The adults! If the show goes beyond 1986, they will also have to find a way to address the career of a young Winona Ryder. Well, we'll leave that to the creators to figure out, we just hope the plot won't be confusing. Hopper's exit. Hopper played a very vital role in the previous seasons and fans were made to believe that he died when the gate closed. Well, many still think that he'll be part of season 4, and by the look of things, he enjoys keeping his fans guessing. And the recent post on his Instagram certainly didn't make anything better. It left fans more confused as to whether he'll be part of the fourth chapter. David posted a picture of himself embracing a headless mannequin and captioned it, Goodbye, long, scraggly, surprisingly soft Walt Whitman beard. Adieu, beige hotel room. Good night, sweet, strange mannequin I never knew what to do with in the corner of the room. He wrote, Farewell, Alexei, you big, bold, bright, burly hope of Russia. You complicated, tortured soul. You guardian of the red. His followers on Instagram thought he was officially saying goodbye to his character. Well, after much scrutiny, fans realized that he was actually talking about Black Widow and not Stranger Things. It's not the first time that David has teased about Stranger Things in one of the interviews. He said he knows how the story will end, but didn't say anything further. The Lost Sister in Season 2, Episode 7. In the episode, Eleven leaves Hawkins behind to find Callie in Chicago, and she learns how to embrace her anger to further advance her powers, which leads them to set off to enact revenge on the people at Hawkins' lab. Viewers were not happy with this episode because it had nothing to do with what they were used to. Eleven is seen hanging around with unfamiliar kids, and the series got a backlash for deviating from the main plot. It was particularly sad because the season was just about to reach its climax, and that episode got the worst review in the history of Stranger Things. The Duffer brothers were completely aware that the episode was controversial, even though they defended it. So, how did they address the events of the episode in Season 3? The answer is, they didn't. They completely ignored the circumstances surrounding the lost sister, and of course, viewers had to talk about that too. There's no mention of Callie in Stranger Things Season 3. There's no discussion of how Eleven returned to Hawkins so much more powerful than before, or of the other subjects, or any of the story introduced in The Lost Sister. Most viewers believe that ignoring that episode never happened was actually worse than trying to fix it. Possibly, they could address that in the fourth season, but make the approach better than it was done in Season 2. Parents are too neglectful. Given Joyce's busy life, nobody can really blame her for her son going missing in Season 1 but all the other parents of Hawkins, Indiana, are also horrible. This is especially after Will goes missing. It would make sense for the town's parents to keep a better eye on their kids, but that doesn't really happen in season two or three. I guess it's just a thing with Netflix productions because the parents in Riverdale are actually worse. In Stranger Things, Mike, Lucas, and Dustin's parents let them go out alone without supervision, and Nancy and Jonathan went off together without their parents knowing. Eleven was able to get all the way to Chicago without Hopper finding out. We agree that things may have been a little different in the 80s, but it's still a mystery as to why the parents don't keep a closer eye on their kids. Hopefully in Season 4, they'll be more mindful of the children and keep a closer look, otherwise it looks unnatural. The Upside Down is a mess. Okay, there's no Stranger Things without the Upside Down, but how does that world really work? Do new buildings get built in the Upside Down? If that's the case, who is constructing these buildings? There's obviously no electricity in the Upside Down, yet the place can somehow generate electricity in the normal world. Hmm. Huh. Fans haven't gotten an answer to how the Upside Down works just yet, but we hope that Season 4 will give us more closure. Characters have traveled to the Upside Down and some have made it back alive, but they didn't learn much about it. We're still trying to figure out how some of them were never affected by the toxic air in the Upside Down. 
Will Eleven get back her powers? One thing which made Stranger Things interesting is Elle's powers. Since she lost the powers in Season 3, fans are wondering what will happen in Season 4. If she doesn't get them back, how will she defeat the enemy and hopefully save Hopper? Let's also not forget that at the end of the third season, the Byers family left Hawkins. It's highly unlikely that there will be a fourth season without Eleven, so the fourth chapter will either take place outside Hawkins or the family will have to move back. I mean, it's easier than moving everyone else who has left in Hawkins to wherever the Byers family went. More of Eleven's kind. She was definitely not the only person being tortured by the horrible people. As mentioned earlier, Callie featured in Season 2 as her sister then disappeared into thin air. Season 4 could possibly redeem that plot and introduce fans to more people like Eleven. Callie, who was also known as Eight, confirmed the possibility of many other children. Wow, exactly how many kids were being tortured? They probably all have different powers, but the production will have to be careful, otherwise, if they overdo it, they'll mimic a Marvel production. Now that the Russians are possibly breeding monsters, they will need more than just one person with superpowers to stop them, and Eleven doesn't have any. The Mind Flare is still very mysterious. Considering that Season 4 may be the last season, viewers want to know more about the Mind Flayer. Where did he come from, what's his backstory, and what exactly does he want with Eleven? As far as we're concerned, the Mind Flayer could be the one holding on to Elle's powers, which is very scary. Many fans believe that the Russians know more about the Mind Flare and maybe even invented the villain. Probably in Season 4, it will be destroyed for good and Hawkins will finally be safe. Will's Sexuality We understand that Will went through a lot of trauma after he was rescued from the Upside Down. We don't know what really happened to him in the parallel world, but it definitely impacted him negatively. However, it's high time the crew addresses his sexuality. Fans are genuinely hoping that Season 4 will elaborate on this. Everyone else is enjoying love, but we don't even know whether he's straight or gay. Won't really matter if Will won't date anyone, but viewers would appreciate if the production makes it clear where his sexuality lies. The Chernobyl Crossover Would Netflix actually try to incorporate a major tragedy like Chernobyl into its sci-fi supernatural TV show? This is definitely something fans believe will happen in Season 4. It's far-fetched, but the series of events are too similar to be a coincidence. If the season happens around April 1986, well, that's when the Chernobyl disaster occurred. The theory suggests that Chernobyl could end up being fabricated in an attempt to cover up a battle involving Eleven the Russians and the creatures introduced in the credits. Getting the characters to the Soviet Union wouldn't be too difficult knowing that the Russians were using several reactors to open gateways. Who should we expect to see? We have the obvious characters Finn Wolfhard as Mike, Millie Bobby Brown as Eleven, Caleb McLaughlin as Lucas, Sadie Sink as Max, and Joe Keery as Steve Harrington. We also expect Maya Hawke as Robin, the newcomer from Season 3, who also quickly became a fan favorite, and Caleb's younger sister Erica, played by Priya Ferguson. Even though he appeared to have been killed off in Season 2, some online rumors are hinting that the American might be Matthew Modine as Dr. Martin Brenner, which is less likely but very interesting. The Duffers have included in every season at least one guest star who rose to fame in the era in which the show is set. Matthew Modine, Sean Austin, Paul Reiser, and Carrie Elwes. So who will be next in Season 4? A woman, maybe? Linda Hamilton, perhaps? Let us know who you'd love to see make a cameo in Season 4. As we wait for the fourth season and possibly the final chapter of Stranger Things, we'll be keeping you updated on other shows, so make sure you're tuned in to Riveted because we publish amazing videos daily.